Hello, today we're going to talk about graphing functions on a coordinate plane. All right, we're going to get right to it with this. Um, this is what we've did, done in other lessons. Basically, it's just plugging in a point to each of these functions to see if it's uh, if it matches up, if it's the order prepared for that function. So negative one five is an order pair for which of these. So we've done this in previous. This is basically graphing uh, functions by using a point. So you used one, then zero, then two, three, four, and then you got your points and you graphed it. And this one is just trying to do it more the opposite. Which one of these does it match up with? All right, so to do this, you just have to plug it in. Um, I'll just plug in the negative one. So I'll say f of negative one equals 3x minus 11. So I should get five out. If I get five out, then I have the answer. So I just plug in negative one for everywhere I see the x, and I get negative three minus 11, which is negative 14. So this func this ordered pair is not for this function. Now I come over to this one. I'm still gonna keep using negative one, So f of negative one equals two times negative one minus seven. So that's negative two minus seven, which is negative nine. Is that the same thing as five? No, so that's not a function either. All right, now for our last one, we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna plug in negative one for each, where everything is, four times negative one plus nine, negative four plus nine equals five. So this right here is the function that negative one five uh, matches up with. All right, here's our next one. So which of the following is blank 15 of this function? So we're looking for what is the input to get us to 15? Is it four? five, or six. Let me move five over this way a little bit. All right, so now to figure this out, we have to plug it in. Our answer should be 15 when we're done. If you wanted to plug in 15, you could, which we're gonna have to. No, we don't have to, we'll just plug in four. So it's saying f of four equals four x, Minus nine, so I'm plugging four everywhere. I see X. So is that the answer? No, it is not. Let's come over here to five. Cool. So I'm gonna plug in five everywhere I have an X. 11 is not our answer, but we are getting closer. So come over here to six. So f of six equals four x minus nine. So plug in x everywhere. You see an x. So I get 24 minus nine, which is 15. So to complete this, it's six, six 15 is the ordered pair that matches up with that function. All right, here's our last one. So which ordered pairs are for that function? So we have two sets of ordered pairs. So I'm gonna take one five first, we'll say F of one. So I should be getting five out when I'm done. Negative three times one plus five. So it gives me negative three plus five, and I get two. So automatically I know this set, these two ordered pairs aren't for it. I'm gonna check it just for the sake of this problem. So if I say f of five equal, well, I'll show you the other way to do it. So I can, since this is also, or it's the same thing as y, I can say, since I have my y point here, I can say seven equals negative three x plus five if you want. If you want to do it this way, you could. 
but negative two thirds is not the answer, so neither of these are. So you can plug in either one, the X is just easier to usually plug in. So come over here, F of negative one equals negative three X plus five. Plug in that negative one for everywhere I see in X. So three plus five, eight, and that was what we were looking for, but we have to always check the second one just in case. So f of 2 equals negative 3x plus 5. Plug it in to get 2. Then get negative 6 plus 5, which is negative 1. So that also works. And there you go. This whole... Well, yeah. All right, this whole lesson was basically just over being able to know how to plug in ordered pairs and see if they match up with functions or put in X and figure out a Y. I hope this video helped and good luck.